YouTube, what the crap's going on? Air of Carthage here, back in Total War Warhammer 2. Who do I want to play as? Who do I want to play as? Dark Elves. There we go. Dark Elves it is. Isle of the Crimson Skull. He's going to go High Elves on me, huh? Wants to elf it out here, does he? Hmm. Well, let me think. So, High Elves have a dragon advantage. Their low tier infantry is better. Their high tier infantry is basically on the same level. They have longer range. Hmm. Got to think about this one for a minute. How do I want to play this? Challenge him from range. It's going to be hard to challenge him from range. What if, what if, what if, what if? I'm just thinking here. Let's go ahead and get Malekith. Mounts. So as soon as I just put him on A mount, a cold one there. Um, abilities. I think I need that. Take the breath spell. Don't think I need that. Seraphon. Soul Stealer. Let's do something like that with Malekith. And then I'm thinking about doing like an infantry heavy build. Think this through here. A lot of spears. How else do I want to handle it? Oh, you know what though? If we're gonna do this, maybe we could cut the bleak swords because they're not gonna be super useful anyway. Let's do like a death hag. Again, this might be a little risky if he brings a dragon. I do want to bring some dark shards because I want to make him have to think about killing them. Gives him one more thing to think about. So we're weak in cavalry. We're strong against infantry. If he brings his own like huge line of archers... That actually would be problematic, and they would do very well against a Death Hag, wouldn't they? Oh, I'm trying to think this one through. All of a sudden, feel like I have regret. Let's do that. And... Get some riders. I don't know if that'll be worth it in the end, but we're going to try it. I need to have something to potentially go after archers with. Yeah, I'm not sure I like this or not. I just don't want to contend with the dragon in the air. I brought witch elves in case he tries to land on me with the dragon so that hopefully we can make the dragon go berserk. I wanted executioners in the center so that the only way he can really hard counter those is with sword masters. And I want the death hag because it's going to threaten his infantry a lot. Um... So that's kind of the reason why I'm thinking of this road again. I don't know if it'll be a solid pick in the end. The Dark Shards are a risk, in my opinion, especially since it didn't bring shields. But at the same time, I've got to have some armor-piercing missiles. He, you know, something to make him focus on, and he needs to take out. But between the Black Art Corsairs and the Harganeth Executioners, it's going to be a pretty decent front line. Because if he brings too many heavy infantry, then my... Uh, Death Hag is more likely to pay off. Let's do something like this. Front line like that. Dread spear. The Dread Spear out here like this. We are ready. Malekith. 
Whisper to me! Support those. Dark shards. Dealers in death. Druki. Cold-blooded killers. Okay, let's take these guys. Okay, I don't want those guys as group one though. Alright, let's see if this works. Uh, let's see if this works. Not feeling super confident, but... The right set of circumstances, we might be alright. Okay, he does have the dragon. Let's see a decent number of other sea guard. He's got two Phoenix guard though, so a lot of his spend is gonna be wrapped up in that. Let's, let's move forward quickly. Dragon Prince is gonna be a problem, but if we combine a Witch Elf and a Dread Spear, maybe. It's gonna hurt. Need to get up here and get into combat quickly. We gotta watch out for the Phoenix Guard. Army's not moving up the way that I want it to. Let's come up here. Gun down that dragon. He should have used his breath attack. Let's pull these guys back. Okay, now let's get him over here. Get into that thing. Let's get ready to tie Dragon Princes down. Actually, you go punch through the center. Crap, Witch Elves got absolutely owned. Some damage there. Go tie those guys down. Let's move around. Let's move out of the way. Get in over there. Okay. A little bit of luck so far. We caught his dragon princes here. If we can drive them berserk, it's going to be huge. Oh crap. Another dragon prince. Let's pull these dark shards apart. Stay after. How did those dragon princes not get run crazy? Let's get on that. Death Hag, stay over here. There we go. Okay, get on the dragon. And there, take that out. Okay, that dragon prince gets a poor shuffle. This Phoenix guard got terrified. Let's get away from that dragon. These guys keep doing work. Stay on the Dragon Prince. Pull out of there. How did they stop going crazy in the middle of a fight with Witch Elves? Don't really make a whole lot of sense. There we go. Let's get back over here after these. Ah. Uh, Let's go ahead and pull back this way a little. Stay on these archers and try and pull that dragon away from the fight. Okay, 
see if we can get away from this dragon. I don't know if we can, because it's kind of fast. Let's see if we can get it busy. Ah! Lost the lady there. Kill these Phoenix Guard. Bring that over here. Bring these infantry back. Regroup. Okay, he's gonna try and pin me down over here. We've still gotta deal with the dragon. It's tied down for a moment. And he's got his other regrouped cavalry over here with that cavalry around. We're in pretty bad shape. Start moving this way. That is just techless, so. Try and intercept these guys. Let's try and kill techless. We've tied these guys down for a little bit, but they just got terrified, so that's, that's definitely bad news. dragon. I don't know how that cavalry keeps getting away without getting knocked out by the witch elves here. That's actually kind of excruciating. Still a fairly close fight. Let's soul steal this stuff. Let's see if we can finish up that infantry. He's going to use a breath attack. Ouch, ouch, ouch. That's going to hurt. Do all the damage we can do, people. All the damage you can do. Alright, we got the cavalry finally. Yes! So close. <laughs> that was close. It's definitely close. His army was very small. Um... But in some ways, still very dangerous to us because that dragon is a very strong unit. You can see how many kills it got. His Lothar and Seaguard, I almost kind of think those may have been his downfall. They got a few kills, but they cost a lot. And I don't know if it's worth it or not. He had one Dragon Prince, one Silver Helm. The Dragon Prince was the one we were having a harder time getting rid of. Death Hag did okay. She didn't do great, but she did. She helped me do a little bit of damage in the center. The Witch Elves were useful because we were able to berserk the cavalry a little bit. Dark Riders did end up being useful because they did some distraction, got into his back lines, got rid of the Eagle Claw Bolt Thrower. Uh, my Dark Shards ended up being pretty clutch there. They did a lot of damage to his dragon over the course of that battle. They got hit, but coming without them would have been pretty dangerous in that regard. Pretty dangerous, but anyway, hope you all enjoyed that one. Thanks, Salvador. That was a, that was a close game. Tough one for me there, bud. Hey, I do have a replay for you all also, so let's go check that out. All right, so here's the replay I told you that we had. Ooh, check that out. Chillgeist. Ooh, some nasty business. So we got Chillgeist, Dire Pack, a couple of Felbats, Graveguard Great Weapons mixed with Graveguard, some Crypt Ghouls on the flanks, and we've got Vladdy Daddy Von Karstein. There were two Necromancers as well. At least I think there was two. Here's one. Let's see. Oh yeah, the other one's back there with the chill geist. Got it. Yeah, so the necromancer. Let's see here. That one's just got uh, raise the dead. Yeah, raise the dead. Ooh, let's see. Let's check the spells here. Invocation. Raise dead. Wind of death. <laughs> yeah, Vladdy Daddy's got wind of death. Look at the Empire player here too. He hasn't. He obviously. Either hasn't scouted that wind of death or isn't concerned about it. If you uh, lull yourself into the wind, uh, problems with the wind of death, it can be bad. But I don't know whether or not this player is going to use it, but we'll see. The grave guard line is going to come clash with these uh, swordsmen. They're just standard swordsmen with halberds, and then we've got Karl Franz in the back, and there's a demigriff knight and Reich's guard on either flank. So, heavy cavalry for the Empire, but their swordsmen are going to get wrecked by Graveguard. And you can see the Graveguard stopped short and allowed the charge of the enemy. This is definitely setting himself up for success with the Winds of Death. And let's see what he does here. Oh yeah, the Empire player is just going to come in and reinforce this too. Because he feels comfortable on the flanks with his cavalry advantage. 
This chill guy, though, is going to do very well over here. Especially if he gets... Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Please use Wind of Death. That's all I can say at this point. Please use Wind of Death. Because this is the perfect setup for it. The vampire has, like, everything right where he wants it. So, we'll see what happens. Anyway, we've got the uh, cavalry fights going on on the flanks. The uh, Empire player just kind of charged right in here. Oh, there it comes. Holy mackerel. How many kills? 343 kills. So that right there is why you always scout for Wind of Death. And why you don't just pile up against a straight line of vampires. Even just the way the Empire player was deployed, you can get hit with the Winds of Death. But a very patient play here by the Vampire player to wait for the Empire player to just come straight into his waiting straight line there. Since Vampires don't really get much of a charge bonus anyway, right? Graveguard? These guys don't do a charge damage, really. So, just sitting there and taking the enemy charge, not going to be all that different than charging the enemy. And then it just set him up for an absolutely devastating Winds of Death. So... Empire player definitely did not respect the capability of what the vampires have there. This chill guy, um, hex rates are actually a very good unit against demigriff knights, so something to be aware of. Even the demigriff knights with halberds, which these are not, um, don't fare very well against hex rates. You have to use some magic to support them. Magic damage is extremely effective against hex rates. So, something to keep in mind if you're looking for a counter. And the Empire has plenty of counters to it. Um, Lore of Beast has the uh, Doom Flock, which is really good against Chillgeist. Um, they've also got uh, Mystifying Miasma, which is good. Um, any Vortex spell that hits them, like a Banishment or something else like that, is also very good because it does magic damage. So, just things to, to keep in mind if you run up against this kind of thing as the Empire. If you're the Greenskins and they try and use Ethereal Units, which a lot of times people think is safe, I don't know if many of you know this or not, but Fist of Gork actually imparts magic damage to the unit you cast it on and can help ruin a Ethereal Unit pretty quickly if you need that help as the Greenskins. So, anyway, I figured this one... Nah, I'm just kidding. I, I Obviously, I knew he was going to win to death, this guy. That's why I put the replay in here, so... In any case, I uh, hope you all enjoyed that one. I just wanted it to be kind of a fun little tack-on thing here. Thanks to Vivictus for sending that in. He, he thought you all needed to see a good old Winds of Death. And it's funny because I know Winds of Death triggers some people, and then it triggers laughter in other people, right? So it just depends. I think it's a cool spell, honestly. Um, it takes so much magic to employ it that if you do it wrong, you've wasted all your magic as the vampire. And it can be dodged if you're paying attention, or the way you deploy your troops can make it a whole lot less effective. Uh, because you don't have to deploy in a straight line. So the key there is you just have to keep yourself out of a position where the winds of death can hurt you. So it's something that I scout for every time I play against the vampires, or at least I try to. You know, you all know me, I forget things sometimes. But yeah, I try to scout for that every time I play against the vampires. So keep that in mind. Hope you all enjoyed this one. Air of Carthage, signing out for now. I will see you all soon.